guys, they don't always teach you. Hey guys, I feel like Eli has not been in a video in a very long time. But we're at the laundromat and we are dropping off a new and improved gumball machine. Do some military <gasps> presses. Up, up. <laughs> Eli was out of town and found a good deal on these gumball machines. So we got three. I mean, we didn't really need to, but they look nice. We got three of these for the price. Yeah, it was a good deal. Why am I holding everything? <laughs> Just get it in the door because I'm holding the camera. Yeah. <laughs> a little update as we wait for the floor to dry. Um, we added these in last time because we had the Pokemon cards in here, but people were somehow like lifting this up and taking them. So we glued on the cards to like a piece of paper, construction board paper, so they can't steal them now. But we have that, and this doesn't look the best in front of it, but we're leaving it as is. Now people actually know that they're buying two Pokemons for one. So. We need to refill these. We need to order more two inch large bouncy balls. Skittles do okay. We had to remove one of these because it broke. Pokemon balls always do good. And yeah, other update is that there was a fire in here. No machines got damaged, thank goodness. All of our machines are back there. And the fire was like right there where that black tarp thing is. But it, they cleaned up nice. We'll insert a before picture. Oh, see, so you did it? That's nice. Well, I just set them up so you can video it. Show the difference between. Good job. That's my content boy right there. Look, the video is second. <laughs> I did, it looks nice. A little camera moment for the gumball machines. I like the blue in here better anyway. The blue matches everything. There's our little machines over yonder. It was just sitting up here? Yeah. Someone finesse the door. Last time we came in here, the door was missing and this was nowhere to be found. So now it was just laying right here. Good. <laughs> One problem solved. Fires and laundromats happen a lot with the dryers. So thank goodness our machines were not over there because um, they were saying when the fire department came, they obviously sprayed down like that whole area. So if our machines were there, they all could have potentially gotten ruined. So thank God they're on the other side of where the fire was. So that's a huge blessing. That would have been terrible because this location is like our top location. So that would be very unfortunate. Of course, that's always a possibility when you have a laundromat location. You just have to be careful of the fires and such. But as I showed you before, all of the dryers are on this back wall, like this L. And we used to have machines like right there and up against that. So I'm so glad they're not there anymore because maybe that could have gotten damaged. That is all for this update. We don't have much going on today, but earlier we did. Eli and I started reaching out to some malls and got it for you. You're welcome. Just to clarify why you can barely hear Eli is because the microphone on my camera is pointed towards me, not at him. Sometimes that happens in my videos, so sorry about that. Back to what I was saying earlier, Eli and I have been reaching out to some mall locations to potentially get our own storefront, but that's in the works. That wasn't satisfying because you missed a whole chunk. <laughs> there you go. I like it. It just fits in so perfect. We need to get that huge one that Quick Play has. And shout out to them, another great channel. Not not for this location, but maybe a potential or arcade. A yeah, hint, hint. As we wait to get emails back from all of the people that we emailed to get different storefront locations, we will be keeping you guys updated as well. And we're just so excited because we just, oh, we have so many machines coming in and we just think it would be beneficial to open up a storefront versus putting all these machines in a warehouse, along with selling some of them locally, but yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on how all of that goes and who we hear back from. We sent out probably like four emails to different spots and we've just been walking around town looking for places that are leasing downtown in our area, an hour south, an hour north, just whatever, wherever to get an answer back or to get an estimated price. But again, we'll keep you guys updated and right now we're just filling up the gumball machine. But comment down below if you guys have your own arcade already open. We know a few of our fellow vendor friends do and some don't, so we're just curious. And at this point, we realized we had all of those gumballs from the other machine. So as Eli's organizing that, taking that out to put in the new one, I'm going to refill this bulk vending rack. Refilling it with all of these small little bouncy balls. Oh, that looks so much better. I'll probably throw this in the bottom so I don't have to collect. Wait, isn't this the thing that's off? Or no, that's... Oh, that's not good. 
But yeah, why is why is it off? Maybe it just got unplugged. Yeah. Well, that's better than it being broken, right? Add in some more balls. Because I think a lot of people like this. Look at how cool this is. The unicorn duck. It's, 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 okay. Done with that. <laughs> okay. You can't have two avocados by each other. These things just don't look the best, but we'll have our order coming in soon. Bear unicorn? I think we just got like a unicorn oh variety gosh, pack. What? Cool. Oh, that is really nice. It's a nice plush too. Yeah, this is a good quality. Oh, it's a little turtle. It's all right. Oh yeah, that's nice. Looking good. Next, I need to rearrange the squishmallows. Guys, you believe it, we added squishmallows to our laundromat location. We just haven't changed it out. Usually this is our variety plush and then this is like a ball claw, but we've run out of product, so we're mixing and then keeping the squishmallows, because why not? It's better than sitting in the warehouse. This is such nice quality. I love these things. Lock it up. Here's what you do when you find two quarters. <laughs> you gamble for more. It's terrible, guys. Go, go. All right, got one left. No, don't put it there. Come on. Oh, I'm back to where I started. I had three before. Well, now you're gonna get. Yeah, no, position. now I'm gonna get right here. No, it's gonna. It's gonna hit that middle. I need to go right here. No, there's gaps over there. Trust me. Yeah. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, no, now it's. Wait, I know. <laughs> no, then you just go one to the right. Come on, buddy. Oh. I know how to play this game. See, now you're up, and now you have to. Ice cream's on me tonight. <laughs> don't, put, don't put it back. I won't. Four twenty-five. So I made an extra seventy-five cents. See you guys? They don't always teach you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our channel.